Hello, it's Adepticon reveal day. Hopefully everyone's hyped. Um, I wasn't going to stay up till 2 a.m. GMT UK time to stream this, so we got a video. It's 7 o'clock in the morning, so hey, get the caffeine in you. Whatever time you watch this video, hope you like some of the reveals. So we're going to just check everything out. It was a big, nice preview. So, Necromunda, the Ash Wastes. Nice box art, as you can see, looking pretty dope. And you get a really nice terrain board. Like, I really like it. Like, the terrain's really nice, the minis in it. It really captures that open wasteland vibe. Kind of Fallout, you know, but Ash and Wastes. But the models, the models are incredible. Like, I've seen loads of people already saying they'd be great for Chaos Cultists. I think they'd be great for anything. Penal Legion, Chaos Cultists. Maybe Necromunda, as they're made for Necromunda, but I really like it. Very cool, very believable sci-fi. I know that sounds silly going with Warhammer 40k. It's a rip-off of Doom, Star Wars, everything else, blah, blah, blah. But this looks really cool. I kind of, if the world's going to go to crap, this is what I feel like humanity would look like. Just kind of open wanderers and stuff. But I really like this vibe. And then you have like these cool, um, I think they're Goliath. Goliath gang buggies. They look super dope. I, I can see people using these for like Gene Steeler Cole, their guard, Rough Riders or something. That's the great thing with Necromunda. I see a lot of people use them for kit bashing. Now, not everyone will like these, but the bugs are pretty cool. I, I really like the big bugs. Um, they're really cool. I could see people using these for crew, maybe? Use them for crew, Tau something, Eldar. But once again, I think they're really neat. Just how these people are riding these big bug insects. It really is a great way to entice people into Necromunda. The terrain's really cool. Like the terrain's awesome. Like you could easily use it just for 40k. Um, but this really reminds me of Borderlands. Um, this is Borderlands, essentially. Um, buy this if you want to play Borderlands. I don't know. And then you've got your rule book, you've got your dice, you've got your tokens and your cards. So yeah, um, that was a really good reveal for Necromunda. Very strong. Like, the fact that it relaunched in 2017, it's got a good lifespan. I recently picked up Hive Scum Box, which is where you get four a uh, mixture of outcasts from the gangs and they just look cool like this would be a great entry for necromunda and now we go on to underworlds and you get a mad scientist oh geez where's his mouth oh god so this guy is the exiled dead as any of my videos i don't play any of the videos within because i don't want to get in trouble and you can check out the videos on youtube or the Warhammer community website, but I find it's lazy just me playing the video and doing like a live reaction. So yeah, um, the minis are cool. I can see people using this for like a Psycho in 40k, as well just using it for a Necromancer in AOS. I often compare minis, not just for one system, so I often ramble going, oh, this would be great for this and that, because um, it's a great thing in this hobby. Don't restrict yourself just because it says Age of Sigma on the box. If you can make it look like it could be for 40k, Make it look like for 40k and have it in 40k, you know? So these zombies, undead, powered up guard look really cool. Um, yeah, looks good. You could easily use these for like weird chaos cultists, I think, personally. So yeah, that's a new warband coming to the underworlds. Got some nice artwork. This guy's like evil genius. He wants his undead pals. You get your cards. There you go. And now we'll go on to 40k and we're getting chaos knights oh boy look at that big evil horns once again check out the videos yourself and you also get these cool little um armagons but they're going to be referred to as war dogs very chaosy because it has a skull and it has multiple skulls but they look really cool really cool then you have this evil thing with lashing tendrils and like a Big cannon, that's crazy. Um, these are from Rumor Engines as well, by the way. There's these vultures, and they've been linked to Rumor Engines a few months ago, so that's confirmed that it was linked to this. If I had money, I would probably do this, because there is a, a night box coming for the Chaos. Coming back now to the new codexes, the artwork is lovely. 
I think it's very smart releasing them both along the same time. You got your Imperial Knights, and then you have your Chaos Knights. Like that artwork is great. The Redemptive Dreadnought just bursting into flame. It looks really good. And here's the limited box. In fact, you get this big knight, and then you get two war dogs with it. I gotta admit, if they if they put that out for 120, that's gonna be crazy money. It's gonna be an absolute bargain because think an average knight is often 95 pounds, 100 pounds. If they were gonna push it to 140, 130, I'd still say that would be a bargain. I would say, as I say to everyone. Go to your third party sites, go to like Goblin Gaming, Alchemist Games, Element Games, whatever, you know, like I'm sponsored by none of them, but those are my ones what I regularly return to. And you got this cool box up with um, Lawless Knights and Naughty Knights going to war. Now, Blood Bowl, we're getting Beer Pigs and we're getting a Norse team. So that's really cool, but I think everyone's more excited for the pigs. So these guys are really cool. Um, really nice. They have their beer and yeah, they look cool, kind of wolf inspired, some nice poses. But everyone's here for beer pigs. They're great. I would, if I could acquire these two and then use them as, a, as objectives in games of Age of Sigma and you've got just two armies fighting over beer pigs, I think that would be hilarious personally. But they're adorable. We now have the beer pigs. We now have the angry um, monkey and parrot from um, Underworlds. We, we now have the crab and fish crew from Underworlds. The animal miniature range is expanding for Games Workshop and it's just getting stronger. What are we going to see next? Now we've seen pigs. I don't know what next animal we're going to see next. Now, to AOS literally comes to life so in a new expansion this is what usual check out the video yourself um spells and the life of Gur itself have come to life and you have like a living spell endless spell crossed with a living animal spirit it's pretty cool it's thematic and we're also getting some terrain with it so that's really cool i really like this that's really nice. Very reminds me of Luminous Realm Lords. And also, we're getting a new book, Season of War. A word that I'm not going to try and pronounce because I'll look silly. Um, this book is looking good. Um, alongside the loads of background and lore, as well as rules for the Incarnate. The Incarnate is the spell, by the way. That's what it was called. This book includes new battle packs for all kinds of games, including two for narrative play, and one of them focused on Path to Glory. So for those who want more narrative, now's your excuse to buy this book. I'll probably buy this book just to read for the lore, even though I still have broken realms behind me what I need to read. But no, that was really cool news. Um, it's nice, it's nice. I'm excited. Um, I'm super excited for this because me, mainly being a Nighthawk character, um, I'll pop a video of the Nighthawk Army Showcase. Um, we were lucky, we had a new Nighthawk announced in the last Broken Realm set. Then the new Age of Sigma set coming, we're getting the new Library Ghost and we're getting the new Bowman Ghost. And I thought, oh, that was it. But the fact we're getting another new model, we've been spoiled as Nighthawk players. Like, I. Hopefully our rules are good, but to be honest, I couldn't care if they were bad. Like this new model, look how good it is. Now to those who have played Elden Ring, this reminds me of the Mariner boss in Elden Ring. If you don't know what I'm talking about, ignore me, but it's a really nice model. Like, just look how cool it is. He's there, he's on his boat. He's like, come on, time to cross the river or he'll just drag you down to your depths, you know? So really neat model, lovely. Um, Let's you reach in. Me and Lady Olinda are hyped. Uh, uh. So yeah, ghosts. Ghosts. I'm excited for ghosts. My Age of Sigma ghost collection will grow. And now, probably to the most anticipated release. What's that? That looks very 30k. It's because it is 30k. There's Horus looking angry. There's an awesome launch trailer What I recommend you check out. It's so good. It's so, so good. Um, it's amazing. But look at that. Like, that looks so good for 30k players. Is this Mark 6 armor? 
Mark V, Mark VI, the tactical beaky armor. It looks great. This is like near the end of the heresy, Siege of Terror and all that jazz, but that looks so good. Like to finally have a model in like a nice rendered picture. One thing I will say, it was a bit of a shame that we didn't get the full box shown, but I think they're gonna kind of drip that off now and you may see it end of this year, the box. And also, you get a plastic creator. Look at that, that is an absolute unit of a being. Like, it's pretty chunky, it looks cool. The great thing with this heresy stuff, you're gonna be able to use it in 40K, like kit bash it, change it. Like, I can see a lot of chaos people, people doing broken marines with all this stuff, but this model is lovely, like the paint scheme, how it looks. It's bloody lovely. It's just a shame that the Sons of Horus are all traitors and they should burn in the pits of the Eye of Terror. So yeah, that was cool. And that's all your reveals. Um, once again, apologies if this was like a quick rundown, not in depth like other people. I just, I always like doing a quick rundown when it comes to like Las Vegas Open or the Adepticon. It depends how I feel, but this was like significant enough. Where I was like, let's do a video because this looks great. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, in the comments below, if you want to keep this conversation going, what did you like? What were you hoping for? What you didn't like? And I will speak to you because we're a community. Hopefully you feel a part of the community, a wider audience as well. Thank you to the people on screen. I won't rant. Cheers, patrons. A pound a month, you get extra stuff. There's links in the description if you want to check that out. If you want to like, comment and subscribe, then please do. If you don't, that's all right. Thanks for just dropping on by. Um, hopefully you're excited about at least one of these announcements and hopefully I'll see you around on the channel. So all the best. Take care. Goodbye.